Okay, so we're gonna get started. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about the size of the ball because that's really important. So when you sit on the ball like this, you should be um, in a position where your hip is either slightly higher or just level with your knees. You can see that mine is perfectly level. That's, that's the right size. It could be a teeny bit higher even, but I wouldn't want it to be lower where I was sunk down like that. So make sure that your ball is in the right um, size for you. And if you don't have a pump, we also have pumps here at the club that you could come by and pick up if you needed to get one. Okay, so we're gonna start off, I'm gonna face just kind of on a diagonal like this. And you're gonna start with your feet just flat on the mat in front of you and your spine nice and straight. And we're just gonna start with some gentle breathing. So inhale through your nose. And then as you exhale through your mouth, just allow your head to drop and your spine to round slightly forward. Just arms relax into your lap. Stay there, take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, just stack your spine right back up again using those spinal muscles and your abdominal muscles for control. Stay there again on the inhale. And then exhale, just round your spine forward. Allow your arms to maybe slide down your legs a little bit. Inhale, so stay there. And then this time, as you exhale, you're gonna start to stack your spine up, but also pull your shoulder blades and squeeze them back as you lift your chest toward the ceiling. Inhale to stay there. And then as you exhale, start to slide your hands down and let your head drop and let your spine gently round. This is just an upper spinal rounding, nothing too aggressive. So inhale, just coming back through into that extension, squeeze those shoulder blades back, let your hands slide up your thighs. And as you exhale, just soften the chest, round the spine and release your arms forward. We're gonna do that two more times. So inhaling, just opening up through the chest and shoulders, exhaling, rounding and softening and stretching the back. Good, inhale to slide those arms back, squeeze those shoulder blades back and down. And then as you exhale, you just round your spine forward again. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, sliding the shoulder blades down and back, opening up the chest, and then exhale to just round the spine and bring it forward. Now sitting up tall, I want you to just move your pelvis in a circular pattern. So just kind of keep your feet flat and you can put your hands on your thighs to stabilize your shoulders, but you wanna just round the spine. Not too much of um, the weight is in your feet, you're mostly on the ball right now. And then go the other way, just kind of rotating around, nice pelvic circles, should feel really good. The ball really helps facilitate that rolling action of that movement of the pelvis. One more time in that direction and then stay just on top of your sit bones. Now, we talk a lot in Pilates about imprinting the spine. Imprinting means that we're elongating the lower back. So what I'm gonna do is take my thumbs here on my lower ribs and my fingertips on my pelvic bones. And on the exhale, you wanna feel like your pelvic, pelvic bones are coming up toward your ribs. So maybe you could notice if you're watching that the ball rolled with me, right? So I'm gonna kind of tuck the tailbone under and curl the ball in and then back out again. So it's the pelvic motion of tucking under and then releasing. Now what you might wanna do here is you might wanna round the too much in the upper back. I don't want you to do that. I want you to stay nice and tall as if your ribs are completely separate from your pelvis. So as you're tucking under, you're elongating still through the upper back, rolling that ball under you and then pushing it back again. Keep going with that. Use your feet to kind of dig into the floor to tuck that pelvis under and then release it. So this again is called an imprint. If we were lying on the back, on, the, on our backs on the mat, it would be an imprint of our spine toward the mat. So that's what we mean by an imprint. It's like an impression of your spine toward the mat. But here when we're sitting on the ball, we're using our sit bones to draw the ball under us and then bring it back again. Two more like that. Exhaling, rocking that pelvis under you and then inhaling to go back. One more time, rock the pelvis under you and then release it and go all the way back. Now from here, we're gonna do what's called the mermaid. So I'm gonna face you. The mermaid is just a side bend facing straight ahead with your spine, you inhale, lift your right arm up, and as you exhale, you're gonna go over. Now, because you're on a ball, you can actually let the ball rotate out a little bit and drop this pelvis over to the side. The ball really helps get that nice elongation of the side of your body. Stay there, take a deep breath in, and then exhale, come all the way back up to vertical, arm goes back down. Inhale, lift the other arm. First, start the side bend, let your hands slide down the ball, then allow the ball to drop. The pelvis drops on that side as the ball rolls. Stay there, take a deep breath in, and then exhale to come all the way back up. If you feel you need more support, just open your feet a little wider. Inhale, lift the arm up. As you exhale, start to side bend, and then drop that pelvis. Let that ball roll to that side. This hand can be completely supported by the ball. Stay there, take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, come all the way back up right again. Inhale, reaching this arm up now. Exhale, start the side bend, and then let that pelvic 
cheekbone drop down, opening up that side of your body. Stay there on the inhale, and then exhale to come all the way back up. Now I'm gonna just break it down a little bit faster. So inhale, exhale, roll. Inhale, exhale, up, good. Inhale, exhale, roll. Inhale, exhale, up. Just don't fall off the ball, okay? <laughs> exhale, roll. Inhale, exhale, up. Inhale, that's why I said open your feet a little wider so that everybody's got a good base of support. And last time, inhale, exhale, over. Nice, inhale, exhale, up. Last time, inhale, exhale, over. And then inhale, exhale, come back up. The next exercise is kneeling on the mat, facing the ball. So you're gonna be facing the ball, just kneeling in a high kneeling position. Your hands are gonna just be here on the sides of the ball. And we're gonna do a cat stretch. So you're gonna to inhale to prepare. As you exhale, start to roll your spine forward and then let the ball roll out in front of you. Inhale, lift your chest and stick your tailbone up in the air. And then exhale, start to roll back again until you come all the way back up on top of your knees. You're allowing the ball to roll with you. Inhale, exhale, roll forward, let the ball roll forward. Inhale to come into that full extension right there. And then exhale, articulate the spine to come all the way back until you're in vertical again. Inhale, exhale, dropping the head, rolling the ball, articulating the spine, inhaling to come into that supported extension, and then exhale to roll your spine all the way back up. We're gonna do that three more times. Exhale, start to nod your head and roll your spine. Now, when you articulate to come to extension, push down into the ball, which gives you good support and then curl your tailbone back under again and come all the way back up. Good, twice more like that. Exhale, rolling forward. Inhaling to come into that supported extension, pressing gently down on the ball, and then exhaling to come all the way back up right again. Last time, inhale, exhale, roll forward. Inhale to come into that extension, and then exhale to come back up. Okay, so I have had some people ask me to show first and then you can do it after. So what I'm gonna show you is that I'm gonna come into what's called a hip flex position. So I'm just flexed here at my hips. And this is called a lat rollout. So from here, I'm just gonna roll the ball forward and then roll the ball back. This starts to engage the muscles here underneath the lat. I keep the spine nice and straight. So we're just kicking the buttocks out as we go forward and then pulling that ball back in. Now, inhaling to go out, getting that long spine. You might even get a stretch through your shoulder and then pull the ball back in. Inhale, letting the arms go out and then exhale, pulling back in. Do you feel that musculature under here? That's what you should be feeling under your arms. As you go out, you get the stretch right there. As you come back, you pull with those lat muscles right under your arms. Two more, inhaling. This is the easiest version because you're not really working that hard against the gravitational forces. Inhale, because you're staying flexed at the hips. Exhale. So now what I mean is I'm going to show you the next level, okay? So what I mean now is if I go out there and then I allow my pelvis to come forward and then I pull up, it's a lot harder now if I stay in that plank position. Inhale, I'm going forward. And then exhale, I'm pulling through to come back up. Inhale, hinging at the knees now instead of the hips. Exhale. If you notice, your feet might come up a little bit as you're going forward. Inhale, going forward. Exhale, pulling and coming back up. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, going forward. Exhale, pulling to come back up, maintaining that really good core connection. Inhale, forward from the knees. Exhale, pull to come back up. One more. Inhale, going forward. Exhaling, coming back up. That should have started to warm up your core. Now we're gonna go into an exercise where we're on our backs. So we're gonna be supine on our back, which means face up and we're gonna have our feet on the ball. So this is a really nice hip release exercise. So what's gonna happen is, if you notice you have the feet up on the ball, your knees are bent. The first thing is you open your knees out to the side, then you roll the ball down, and then you pull the ball back in with your legs together. So again, you open your legs wide like a clam, let them roll out, and then you bring them back together. So just get the pattern, and then I'll talk about the breathing. Open go out and then roll it up. So you're opening your legs, lengthening them, and then you're bringing it back up. Now the breathing on that's gonna be an inhale to open and roll. Exhale, turn the legs in and bring them back up. Inhale to open and lengthen. Exhale to turn them in and bring them back up. Inhale to open and lengthen. Exhale, roll that ball back in, legs together. Inhale, open and lengthen. Exhale, pulling back in, this is a warm up. Nice hip release, it's called. Exhale, so you're getting that release through the hips, especially as you open those legs out to the side and pull back in. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, open and lengthen. 
Exhale, pull up, and one more. Inhale to open and lengthen. Exhale to pull them back up. Beautiful. Okay, so from there, so that's our bilateral hips. We're going to do and now a hip roll. So in the hip rolls, you can place your feet flat on the front of the ball. You're going to inhale to prepare. As you exhale, you imprint your spine, and then you send your hips up into the air. Inhale to stay there, and then exhale to articulate your spine to come all the way back down. Now, don't do it again. Just wait for a moment. Think about this. When you start to come up, you first want to make sure that you imprint your spine. Then you want to squeeze your buttocks, and you only have to come up a little bit. You don't have to come up that high. You don't have to come all the way up, wherever you can, okay? So let's do that together now. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, you imprint your spine, then you squeeze your buttocks, and you lift your hips up into the air. Inhale to stay. As you exhale, try to keep your hips high as you roll your upper back, and then your middle, and then your lower, and then your hips release. Inhale. Exhale, imprint, and then squeeze your buttocks and articulate your spine to come up. Stay there on the inhale, and then slowly exhale, rolling your spine back down again. We're going to do that three more times. Imprinting, squeezing the glutes, sending those hips up into the air. Inhale to stay. Exhale, slowly roll your spine down and release it. Inhale to stay. Exhale, roll your spine up. Inhale at the top. Exhale to roll your spine all the way back down. Inhale, exhale, imprint. This is your last one. Exhale to roll the spine all the way up. Stay up there on the inhale. And then exhale to articulate and roll your spine back down. Oh, nice. Okay. You're going to let your legs just drape over the ball now. So they're completely resting on the ball. And you're going to bring your hands behind your head. From there, we're going into just a tiny little head nod. So our head is in that little knotted position. And we're going to do an exhale to flex up. So exhale, flex up, and then lower back down. Exhale to flex up and lower back down. You're just flexing here at this thoracic area and then lower back down. Exhale to flex up and lower back down. Exhale to flex up and lower back down. Continue with that and lower back down. Now, if you're having um, issues with osteoporosis or osteopenia and you can't flex your spine, you could just do a bend and stretch of the legs, okay? So a bend and stretch of the legs. I happen to know that some of you have that. So be conscientious of spinal flexion. So if you can't flex your spine, you just bend and stretch your leg. Let's do four more. Four, and lower back down. And three, and lower back down. And two, lower one more time, and lift, and lower all the way back down. So that was our ab prep position. Now from there, we're going to come up into a prone position. So you just lift yourself up. This will be really good for those of you who are uh, perhaps dealing with osteoporosis or osteopenia because it's going to strengthen your back muscles. Really important. Now, wherever you're going to get your body on the ball like this, the first thing you have to do is tighten your abs. Otherwise, you're going to feel a little bit of pressure up into the thorax, which may, may, could make you feel a little bit nauseous or something. So tighten your abs first. Have those washboard abs. Bring the ball really close to you so that your pubic bone presses against the ball first, and then you drape your spine over the ball. From there, your hands are just holding. Now, you might want to watch. The hands are just going to be here. I'm going to let my head drop forward in a ground spine position. First thing I'm going to do is inhale, and then as I exhale, I'm going to push my pubic bone into the ball, and then just lift my spine into this extension, okay? So that's the exercise. Let's now do it together. Start all the way flexed over the ball. Inhale to start lifting away from the ball, and then exhale, you're pushing your pubic bone and pelvis into the ball. Inhale to start lowering down, and then exhale to round forward again. Inhale, start to elongate the back of your neck and come up. Exhale, and then lift to just to that open position in the front. Inhale, start to lower down, and then exhale, drape over the ball. Inhale, start elongating through this back of your neck. Exhale, come all the way up. Inhale, start to lower down, and then exhale, go all the way. One more like that, then we're going to change it. So stay with me now. Inhale, start to lift. Exhale, to come into that full extension. Inhale, and then exhale to lower down. The next one is a hover. So now arms are going to be down by your sides, right here by your hips. You're going to roll your shoulders back and come into that real look, kind of hover position where your arms are just reaching and your neck is nice and long. Then you're going to let those arms drape forward and your spine flex forward. Inhale to start to roll your shoulders back. Lift those arms right up in the air as high as your shoulders if you can, and then lower all the way back down again. Inhale, start to lift. Exhale, reach those fingertips towards your feet. Inhale, start to come down. Exhale, lower all the way down. 
Inhale, start to lift, press your pelvis into the ball as you come into that cover position or that lengthened position, and then lower back down. Now, the third one is the toes are gonna curl under. As you roll your shoulders back and you come up, you're gonna elongate your legs and come into this full dart position. Inhale, start to lower, and exhale, go all the way. Here we go. Inhale, start to lift, elongate those legs and arms, and reach those arms back towards your heels. Inhale, and then exhale to lower all the way back down. Inhale, start to push the ball. Exhale, come into that reach. Inhale, start to lower, bending the knees. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, start to lift. Big exhale to press out. Feel the glutes active, the whole back of your body active. And then lower all the way back down. Twice more. Inhale, starting to lift. Exhale to reach out with those arms long. Good. And then down. We're going to do it one more time. Inhale, start to lengthen. Exhale to reach. Really squeeze every muscle in your body. And then completely release. When you release, sit back on your heels. Take the ball with you. And place your head there. Give it a nice hug. <laughs> Just this rocket back and forth, nice easy stretch right here. Hugging the ball right into your chin, right into your chest. Stay there, nice deep breath, and then exhale, come up to straight again. Okay, great, now we're gonna go into a classic exercise called the 100. So we're gonna be in a supine incline position. Before we do that, I wanna talk about what that means and how you get there. So you're gonna sit, now I'm gonna use my mat like a runway, okay? so that I can kind of guide where I'm going. So whenever you're gonna lie in this incline position on the ball, you have to learn how to get there. Really important that you don't just kind of set yourself there, you actually walk through it. Hands go by your side, and you take one step, and then another step, and you let your back start to mold onto the ball until you come into this position where your buttocks is down and your back is completely supported. You should feel like your feet are supporting you quite a lot. You can push into that. now. We're not gonna stay there, we're gonna actually walk back. How do you get off? You don't just kind of like, well, how do I get off? Try to figure that out. You, there's a re way to do it. You start to push your back into the ball, one foot at a time, lower your head a little bit, and come all the way back up to sitting straight. Let's practice that twice, okay? Here we go, we start to just take the shape of the ball with your spine as you walk your legs forward. And then how are you gonna get back again? You're gonna drop your chin, tuck, push into the ball, and come all the way back on top. You might have to readjust. Two more. Rock, walk it forward, let the body take the shape of the ball. From there, you should feel pretty supported. Then you push to come back up again, and next time we're just gonna stay down there. So go ahead and start to walk out. Now, when you get down there, you should feel like you're supported by your feet a lot, but you're pushing into the ball. Does everyone feel that? Okay, the head, the neck, if you're too far back, it's gonna be stressful. So try to make sure your buttocks is hanging down. Now your arms are gonna come here by your side, and the 100 is a, a breathing exercise. You inhale, you pump your arms, and then you exhale, you pump your arms. So before we start, five times on the inhale, five times on the exhale. What you're gonna notice is the ball is gonna bounce, right? Try to avoid bouncing, try to keep it super still. How do you do that? What do you think? Abs. <laughs> okay, feet, really push into those feet. Get ready, hold those arms up, and here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and 42, three, four, five, and inhale, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, we're halfway there, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, four, five, this is 62, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, 72, three, four, five, and inhale, two, four, five, that's 82, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, avoid that bouncing, two, four, five, one more, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, now pause, in Pilates it always has to end pretty, you go a little bit deeper, and then you release, ah, nice, okay, come all the way up to sitting, perfect, now we're going to intensify that, next time we have a ball class, I can show you how you can make that a little harder, but for today, I'm just going to keep it a little simple, getting used to being on the ball, okay, Kind of think of it as an acclimation. We're gonna do a half rollback. So how we're gonna start that is we're gonna reach our arms out in front of us like this, and our feet have to go further away. As soon as I exhale, I'm gonna roll back, pulling the ball under me, and then I'm gonna push back up into that position. The legs can go straight right here. And this is not a lot of flexion, it's really more articulation, so you should be fine in this one. Inhale here, exhale, roll the ball under you, and then inhale to come up and over. Exhale, pull the ball under you, and then inhale to come back up and over. Exhale, pull that ball under you. Now you can work this as hard as you want. 
If you really pull that ball under you using your core muscles right here, you're gonna feel it more. Exhale, pull that ball under you. Inhale to go up and over. Exhale, pull it under you. Inhale to go up and over. You got it. Pull it under you. Going forward one more time. Exhale, curl it under you and then bring it all the way back up. And now sitting tall. Okay, we're gonna go into the spine twist. So in the spine twist, you're sitting on the ball. You're gonna take your hands and just place them in this, this genie position. We're gonna to rotate to the right and we're gonna go three times. So it's an inhale to prepare. Exhale, rotate one, rotate two, rotate three and come back to center. Exhale, one, exhale, two, exhale, three, come back to center. Exhale, one, taller, two, three and back to center again. One and two and three. One more time on that side, the right and two and three. One more time left. Exhale, one and two and three, come back to center. I'm gonna to start to challenge you a little bit here. So bring your legs a little closer together and then hands are just on the sides of the ball. See if you can lift one leg. Put that down and try lifting the other leg. Notice if one feels a little bit harder to do than the other, usually that's the case. Up and down, okay? So this is a little bit of a weight transfer. Now you're working it if you're keeping tall. If you slouch, it doesn't, it's really slouch. Go ahead and slouch for a minute. Is that so easy? Like you can easily lift your foot, right? But if you're holding this posture, like you're barely sitting on the ball and you're trying to shift, you're gonna feel a lot more work, right? Am I right? Give me a little nod. Yeah, do it right. <laughs> and then try it again. Now, let's see, could you hold your right leg up? Could you bring your hands into genie position? And then could you rotate toward that leg? Woo, that's a little harder, right? You feel it. Rotate and come back. Woo, I'm starting to fall off. Rotate and come back. And then put that foot down. Three times is enough. Shift over, find the leg in the air, okay? And rotate. Amazing how one side is so much easier. This side is my easy side. And one more time and come back to center. Excellent job. Okay, so that's our spine twist. We're gonna go into a single, um, le single leg and double leg work, which is gonna be down on the mat again. So we're gonna come back down to the supine position. And again, if you're trying to avoid flexion, I can show you ways in which you don't have to flex your spine. Otherwise, this exercise, your head is up the whole time like this. And what happens is one leg goes out and then the other leg goes out. Okay, if you're doing this without the flexion, you're just gonna do the leg and bring it in. The leg and bring it in. So this is called the single leg extension. So everyone, let's try it together. Exhale, flex your upper body if you're gonna do the flexion. And then one leg is gonna go out, the other leg comes up, and then you return. It goes and up and back, come back. Just reaching that leg out. If it's too easy, then put it on your heel so that you're just having to really lengthen that leg with no support. Exhale, out and back, out and back. Do it again, reach, bring it back. Reach, bring it back, four more. Four and three and two, last one. Bring everything back in. Now the legs are gonna start a little bit further out so you can have your heels on the ball and your hands behind your head. This is called the obliques. So for the obliques, you flex over to the side like this and then you lower back down again. But as you do that, you're gonna pull the ball in and then it goes back up and you go the other way. Pull it in and back out. Pull it in and back out. The ball comes in as you come up. You can just do the legs if you don't want to do the upper body. Exhale, cross it over, lower down. Cross it over, lower down. Really use your breath. Get that breath. Flex and lower. Flex and lower again. Flex and lower. Flex. Four more like that. Four and three and two, last one. Beautiful. Okay, now you can just do your arms and legs or you can do this one in flexion. Let me tell you what you're gonna do. It's gonna be a double leg. So the hands are gonna start here by my knees and my knees are bent. Feet are on the ball. The arms and legs on the exhale are gonna extend right out long and then circle those arms as you come back around. So this is what it's like without the head being up. Okay, if you wanna bring your upper body into the mix, 
flex up and from here, here we go. Exhale, reach out for one, circle back around. Exhale for two, circle back around. Exhale for three, and circle. Exhale for four, and circle again for five, and circle again for six, keep it going. Exhale for seven, exhale for eight, two more. Exhale for nine, and last time, 10, and bring everything back together again. And lower back down, okay. The next one is called the scissors, probably the most difficult one to, but up till now. You're gonna pick the ball up with your feet. Now, don't drop it on your face, <laughs> which means that you let go of your inner thighs, right? If you lose this inner thigh connection, you only have one place to go with that ball, that's right on your nose, so none of that. Okay, now, your feet, try not to sickle them, which means try not to hug the feet, the toes into the ball. Just push the ankles into the ball. Now, we're not gonna do a, a, a big exercise here. We're just gonna try to rotate our legs so the ball kind of spins and then come back to center. Rotate and come back to center. Sometimes you have to readjust the ball if it feels like it's too slippery. Rotate and back to center, okay? So everyone got the idea? Now we're gonna start the exercise. So what I'm gonna do is inhale here, exhale, rotate, keep pressing into the ball. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, rotate, pressing into the ball. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, rotate, inhale back to center. Exhale, rotate, inhale back. Exhale, rotate, come back. You're gonna do one more, rotate, come back to center and then just bend your knees and lower the ball down. Now I'm gonna intensify that, but you can just do the same thing again. In order to intensify it, after you do the scissoring pattern, which is this here, you're gonna to try to lower those legs down, maintaining your imprint come back up and then come back to center, okay? So let's try that together. Again, you can just do the rotational part. Inhale to rotate, exhale, lower those legs, keeping that connection. Inhale to come back up, exhale, come back to center. Inhale, other leg. Exhale, lower down with control. Inhale to come back up, exhale, nice and slow. Inhale, scissor, exhale, lower. Inhale, back up, exhale, center. Inhale, rotate, exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, center again in scissor, lower down, come back up, back to center again. Rotate and lower down, come back up. Let's do one more each side. Scissor, exhale, lower, inhale, up. One more time, scissor and lower, come back up and then release it. Okay, nicely done. Legs out straight for a moment. All right, we're gonna be going into our shoulder bridge. So this is another one of those ones where the hamstrings get involved. I know sometimes this is tough because you might cramp in your hamstrings. Try as much as you can to engage your core muscles, which might help that. We're gonna come here into this heels on top position, feet are flexed. So you wanna have your heels literally right on top of that ball. Just practice lifting up a little bit and lowering down, just practice that. You gotta dig those heels in in order to lift up. Okay, that's what the shoulder bridge is gonna be. Unlike the hip rolls we did earlier, which was an articulation exercise, this is a straight spine. You don't roll, you just stick your butt up in the air and lower down, so it's all glutes, okay? So here we go. On the exhale, try not to lengthen your legs, just push into the ball, lift up, lower back down. Exhale, lift up, lower back down. Push those heels to lift and lower. Push those heels and lift and lower. Push it down, lift it, and lower. Push down and lift and lower, push down and lift, and lower, it's gonna give you those great cheeks that you're looking for, <laughs> and lift it up, lower back down, lift it up, lower back down, last time like that, and lower back down, okay. Now we're gonna add a series of pulses. So we're gonna go up, and then drop a little bit, and do five pulses, three sets of those. Everybody ready, inhale to prepare, exhale, lift up, drop a little, and pulse it, five, and four, that's it three, and two, and one. Drop all the way down, inhale. Exhale, come right back up, drop down a little bit, and pulse it, five, and four. Let those glutes work, and two, and one, and drop it down. All right, heating it up, one more time, you've got this. Up, drop it, five, four, three, two, and one, and all the way down. Ah, oh, just bring those legs in. Think of them as just being in that Frog position, right on top of the ball. Get that little bit of a stretch, rock side to side. Allow those legs to just be nice and comfortable there. And then you're gonna try singing if you can. 
pick that ball up with your knees. Can you pick it up? Okay, so we're going to be doing an exercise where we're going to try to pick that ball up and drop it back down. Pick it up. Okay, that's called the rollover prep. You don't have to lift anything off the mat except the ball. Open your legs a little wider if you need a little bit more of a grip. Okay, it depends on what kind of ball you've got. All right, here we go. Exhale, lift and tap. Lift and tap. Again, imprint the spine, release it. Imprint, release. Roll and come back. Just see what you got in you. Up and down. You won't go very far, perhaps, but at least you get that little bit of a imprint and bring it back. Imprint and bring it back. Four more. Four and three. You can those abdominals. Two last time and one. Okay, lengthen those legs all the way out. Take a nice deep breath in and then bring your arms by your sides. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is a prone exercise. So we've done a bunch of these already, but we're going to be doing a full breath stroke. So prone means we come back up and we go face down over the ball. This is called the full breath stroke. We did the preps earlier. To do the full, you come back further on your mat if you're on a mat. And you're going to, again, tighten your abs before you put your stomach on top of this. And then you're going to lengthen all the way if you can so that your feet are turned under at the toes and you're in this plank position supported by the ball. And watch me first because I do not want you to look at me while you're doing it. Watch how here, I'm all the way flexed toward you. My fingertips are pulled toward the mat. So from here, I'm gonna inhale, lift up and circle around. As I exhale, I'm gonna bend my elbows and dive back down toward the floor. Inhale to lift, exhale to dive, okay? So that's the full exercise. We're gonna start that together. So let's everybody start with your hands here. First thing I want you to do is just dive down toward the floor. Now, inhale, circle around, bringing those hands by your hips, push into the ball with your pelvis. Exhale, drop it. Inhale, reach in a big circle. Exhale, drop down. Inhale, reach in a big circle. Exhale, through, good. Inhale, think about swimming all the way through. <sighs> inhale, up, exhale, breath stroke prep, right? So you're thinking about that breath stroke. Up, exhale, down. Four more, up, keep those glutes active, and reach back, lower down, twice more, reach back, lower down, once more, reach it back, lower down. Now let's reach back one last time, and then from there drop the knees, and just sit back again, hugging that ball. All right, excellent. Well, that's been a pretty good solid half hour of work, we just a little bit more to go, but pretty good solid half hour. The next thing that we're gonna do is some so it's a side leg lift series. Probably one of the most difficult positions for people to get in is the side lying on the ball. So I'm gonna talk about that, how you can get into it best. And some of it has really got to do with what kind of surface you're on. If you're on a slippery surface, it's gonna be harder for you to stabilize. If you're, gonna be, if you're on a, um, a stickier surface, like a yoga mat, it might be easier. Watch how I do it. Now I've really got long legs, so it's always easier if you've got longer legs to get yourself in the position. But then also having the right size ball makes a difference. So notice how I'm kneeling, not touching the ball, but I'm kneeling a little bit away from it, okay? Now, try not to pull the ball into you. Try to reach your pelvis over onto the ball. So now I'm on one knee and I'm on the ball, okay? The ball is being stabilized by your pressure of your pelvis into it. So try to push your pelvis into it. Then you can bring your hand down to touch your head right here, and the other hand is like a kickstand hand. Now, notice that your leg right here, as the foot goes down to the floor, is in this long lengthened position. You're actually in a stretch here. Uh, if you were lying flat on a mat, you'd be up here to start this exercise. You know, you'd be level. So now that you're going from an elongated position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, and, oh, I'm sorry, your back foot, if it's straight, it might be harder to do. Have it let it turn under you a little bit. So it's a, more like a kickstand, okay? So from here, we're gonna inhale, point and lift. Exhale, flex the foot and lower. Inhale, point and lift. Exhale, flex and lower. Inhale, point and reach. Exhale, flex and lower, reaching through the heel as you push down. Inhale, point and reach. Exhale, flex and lower. And as you're doing that, you're probably noticing that the leg is only coming up really hip height right there, and then press down. Inhale, point and lift. Exhale, flex and lower. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. You got it. Point and flex again. Point up. Flex it down. Now you're going to hold that leg up there. Keep pushing into the ball right here with your pelvis and make tiny soup can size circles. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, reverse the circle, and one, two, three, four, it's challenging, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh. Now reach over the ball, get a nice stretch, allow yourself to get that elongation, stretch it through, and bring yourself back through and up. Other side, excellent. Remember how to get into position, and that's so important, because your start position, if it's not correct, really dictates the success of the exercise, right? So you're not touching the ball to start with, it's somewhat away from you, and then you push into it, and then you come over it. And you're wanting to make sure that that back leg is not too straight, it's actually turned a little bit, which will give you a bigger base of support. Here you can put your hand on your head like that, or your head on your hands, like that to keep it comfortable. Here we go. <clears throat> Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Point and lift, exhale, flex. Remember the flexing of the foot's important. Point and flex. Point up and flex. Again, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale again. Point and flex, keep it going. Point and flex twice more. Point and flex one more. Point and flex. Okay, now we come up for our circles. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reverse the circle. One, two, three, four. It's hard. Five, six, seven, and eight. Ooh. Elongate right over that ball. Get that big stretch. Stay there breathing. And then pull yourself all the way back up. Okay. So from here, we're going to go into a swimming prep. It's called a swimming prep in Pilates because we do an opposite arm leg raise. So you're going to face the ball. And I'm going to turn this way so I can see the, the screen better. So you're going to face the ball. And we're going to come back into that prone position again. So tighten up your abs, push up and over. And from here, you're just going into your toes to hands position. Now, if you can, you're going to try to lift opposite arm leg and then bring it back down. That'll be on the exhale. Okay, so here we go. Exhale, opposite arm leg, and bring it back down. Opposite arm leg, and back down. Exhale. Keep it going. Nice. The ball gives you some support, which feels really good, but it is still challenging because you're on a, a surface that's movable, right? So that ball makes the, the hand stable. Exhale, reaching and lowering, reaching and lowering. Again, reach, back down reach, back down again, reach, buttocks is working to lift that leg, we've got two more, reach, and reach, relax your upper body completely over the ball, notice what a great stretch that is for your lower back, let your head just drop and dangle down, no pressure in your neck, just shake your head out, maybe shake it side to side, breathe into your back, let your knees hug into the ball, take a deep breath, and as you exhale, drop your knees back down and push yourself back up. We're coming back onto the mat again. This is probably the, one of the harder exercises on a supine position. So you're lying on your back again. This will be the hardest of the exercises probably for some of you today. I'm gonna to talk about what's gonna happen. You have a couple of options. Your legs can start like this and then they can go out like that as you start to come up. What's gonna happen is our arms are overhead. It's a teaser prep. We're gonna bring our arms forward and then the legs are gonna elongate as you roll yourself up. Inhale to come tall at the top and then exhale, start to roll down and bring those legs back in. Okay, so that's, or you can keep your legs straight the whole time. It really depends on how flexible your, your hips are. Okay, arms overhead. Inhale to bring your arms forward and then your legs are bent, right? As you go to roll up, you straighten your legs out and roll your spine up. Inhale to lift your arms up at the top, then exhale, start to articulate down and bring, bring the knees in, and then let your arms go overhead. Inhale, bring your arms forward. As you start to roll up, lengthen your legs out on the ball. Inhale to come back up. Exhale, slowly start to roll down, and you can start to bring that ball back in as you articulate through your lower back. Inhale, bring the arms forward. Exhale, curl up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, slowly start to roll down, and then bring those legs back in if you need to. Inhale, the arms come up. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, lift those arms. Exhale, slowly start to roll down, and then you can bend your knees. Three more. Inhale, exhale, curl, elongate. Inhale, exhale, rolling down, bringing the ball back in twice more. 
Inhale, exhale, roll it up, lift up those arms, exhale, start to slowly roll down and bring the legs in. Last time, inhale, exhale, curl up, inhale at the top, slowly roll back down again, and then bring your legs all the way back in. Excellent. Okay, from there, take your legs on top of the ball, and then from here, just let your legs open out to the sides. Get that stretch. So letting the legs just open to the sides. Should feel really good. We're gonna do some nice stretching next. So you'll like that lengthen your legs. Push the ball away from you. You can use it to roll up again, and we're gonna come all the way up to sitting. Take the ball out in front of you, starting just with that first part. Legs out straight, hands on the ball. You're gonna roll forward and allow your ears to line up with your arms and just keep the sit bones anchored slightly, get that stretch through the spine. Inhale to stay there and then exhale to come back up. Inhale, spine stretch forward. It's called you roll forward. You let that stretch occur. Stay there on the inhale. And then exhale, come back up. Now take your left hand into the center, the other hand on the floor, and then just roll out with one side. You can let your head drop down. Get that nice stretch on that side and then come back up. We're gonna do that again. Inhale, exhale, roll to one side. You're rotated toward that open sit hand side and then roll back up one more time. Inhale, exhale, and reach forward. Come back up and change hands, inhale. Exhale, let that arm reach all the way out. Get that stretch through that whole lat inside of the arm and then inhale to come back up. Exhale, roll the ball forward and reach. Inhale to come back up, do that again. Exhale, last time, roll it forward to come up. I mean to go out and then come back up. Good, all right, now we are gonna come up. That's what I was thinking. We're coming up to sitting again. I'm gonna sit right in the center of my mat. You can do that too. I'm right on top. Okay, really nice stretch here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our legs as far as we can. And how much of your ball, your body is on the ball is going to determine how well you can get through this stretch. So notice how I have a lot of ball in front of me, so my buttocks is toward the back a little bit. As I start to go forward, and I'm going to let myself go forward, right, my, my ball pushes back to give me some space to put my legs, okay? So I'm just kind of coming into this forward fold. The arms, if you are up for it, can just go all the way down toward the mat, and you can let your head hang down, really whatever is comfortable for you, and you can use your hands, if they're on the floor, to push back and forth. Then from there, you're just gonna roll yourself forward again and come back up. Okay, now we're gonna go into a side stretch. So the right leg is gonna go out straight. The left arm is gonna come up. This left foot's gonna hold you there and then you're just gonna side bend toward that. Really give a nice stretch and then open up to the back a little bit, really lifting the chest up. Stay there, inhaling. Exhale, from here, just come back to center and lift up. Change your leg, length, lengthen out to the opposite side, inhale. Exhale, slide down. Use this foot on the right side to push into to give you a stable, solid connection. Stay there breathing. And then coming back up. One more time on the other side. So lift that arm up, slide the hand down. You can also put your hand on the ball if it feels better. Stay there, inhale. And then exhale, come up, other side. Straighten that leg out, slide that arm down. It's amazing how quick 45 minutes goes, right? Inhale, come back up. Take your hands and you're gonna clasp your hands together and push those fingertips out, round the upper back, pushing through those fingers. And then inhale, bring the hands into the chest and squeeze the shoulder blades back. Exhale, push out again. Getting that nice Stretch through the back of the shoulders and then come back up one more time like that, pushing forward with the fingers, spreading them. And then come back up, place your arms down. And I want you to just let your arms swing back and forth. Swing them up, up, good. Add a little bit of a bounce. <laughs> Feels really good. Get that little bounce and then relax. Good, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring them down. Inhale, up and exhale, bring them down. Excellent job, everybody.